get the hell out. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back. Here at Explainer, we seek to push boundaries to challenge the way you look at video games, trash-talking puppets, and small, frightened, emotionally vulnerable men. You mean me, right? Yes. I thought so, but our goal is in just to be the finest video game critics ever. Take that, Crispin Boyer. It's time to win the Pulitzer Prize for criticism. You're going down, Machiko Kakutani. And become the undisputed rulers of the entertainment criticism universe. I will taste the raw flesh of your heart in my mouth, Roger Ebert. Thus, we present a bold, innovative, critical approach. Compare and contrast Resident Evil 4 versus Shining Tears. This is the story of two video games, Resident Evil 4 and Shining Tears. Resident Evil 4 is an intense mix of action, strategy, horror, and fun. We loved it. Shining Tears is a generic RPG game, generic storyline, and generic battles. We hated it. X-Play gave Resident Evil 4 its highest praise with a 5 out of 5. X-Play gave Shining Tears a gift with a 1 out of 5. Everybody in the X-Play offices loved Resident Evil 4. RE4! 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 Nobody loved Shining Tears. Resident Evil 4 became so popular, it hobnobbed with all the big wigs. But then I said to Jack, where do you get all those wonderful toys? <laughs> I still can't believe it. <laughs> Shining Tears became so unpopular, it was banished to the X-Play reject room. Yeah, I thought that playing on a Schwarzenegger would be a good idea, but I'd look nothing like the governor, so it was ill-conceived at best. Indeed, I thought playing Patrick Stewart for the engage would be funny, and it wasn't at all. Why don't you say something, Shining Tears? Yeah, what the hell? Do you like it better than us or something, Shining Tears? I will flip you like a cheese omelet! Make it show. Resident Evil 4 made an impact on everyone. Perhaps too big an impact. Hey, how you doing today, RE4? You're doing good? Cool, cool. Okay. I gotta be honest with you. I've been, like, carrying Morgan for months, and, you know, we play our cards right. I could be looking at the new co-host of X-Play. Do you like it? <laughs> I know. I thought you would. Talk to you later. Hey, RE4, how you doing? You know, I think we all know that I've been carrying Adam for months. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. And if we play our cards right, I think I'm looking at the new co-host of X-Play. You like that? <laughs> I knew you would. Don't say anything. I gotta go. Shining Tears just made everybody angry. Perhaps too angry. All right, that's it, Shining Tears. You know what? I could put up with your junk, but you just stay the hell away from Morgan. She's the only thing holding this show together. Understand me? Back off and stay out of Morgan's face. I hate you with the intensity of a thousand suns. You know you listen to me, Shining Tears. You know I can put up with your garbage, but I can only put up with so much of your garbage. You know, I'm the only one holding this show together. You know that, right? You know that I can only put up with so much. I hate you with the white-hot intensity of a thousand suns. Resident Evil 4, the sky's the limit. With Shining Tears, who cares? Really? Hi, I'm television's Adam Sessler. X-Play sure hopes you've learned a lesson today. Remember, kids, stay in school and don't do drugs unless they're prescribed by a doctor or Jose Canseco. I'm Adam Sessler. Good night. Oh, That was a really touching anti-drug message, Adam. Yeah, now I only have seven hours of community service left. Oh, thank God that as celebrities, the law only barely applies to us. Have you seen my pistol? 